Hey y'all, this is Rochelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Rochelle's Plants. Thank you for joining me for another video. And in today's video, y'all, we are going to be planning out the month of September in my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. So y'all, for this spread, I am going to use a Sarah Marie kit, and it is kit 108. Um, I don't know if this kit is called, I'm just going to call it apple picking. <laughs> I don't know if that's what the kit is called, but then I also have here um, some additional add-on um, appointment labels. And y'all, we're just going to go ahead and get started. First things first, I want to go ahead and white out this big bold September 2022 because I do think you'll be able to see it through the sticker and it doesn't bother me to white this out because it's not that much that I have to white out now if I had a different planner am I out no I was gonna say if I had a different planner where I was whiting out quite a bit then I would probably have to rethink that planner. But this one is neutral enough for me that um, I don't mind just whiting that out. So this is a really pretty kit, y'all. And y'all are going to be tired of me because I do have... Let's turn this around this way. I do have um, for the first week of September, I've got this same kit that I'm going to be using for the first week. Now, I've turned that upside down. Can I get this straight? So I don't want to peel it up and I don't want it to be too far into the date blocks. Okay, it's got a pucker in it. I'm trying to get it straight, y'all. Now, I didn't go over far enough, so I'm going to have to lift this up. Thank goodness for repositionable stickers. I may have to just, let me just try it this way. Okay, finally, is it going to stick? Okay, all right, so we have that that side down. Now let's go ahead and do the right side of the page, Thursday through Saturday. Yeah, this is, I don't know why, but this is giving me, I'm having a little bit of problems putting this down, hopefully. Okay. There we go. That's good. All right. So we have our header down. Now let's come in and we're going to put down the date dots. Let me grab my tweezers here. Y'all, tweezers are a lifesaver, especially when you're putting down or covering up or using smaller stickers because I have... Um, well, these are my real nails, but it's, um, is it an overlay? What do I get? No, it's not an overlay. This is dip. What is wrong with me? Y'all, so this is dip and the nails are a little bit thicker. Now, I don't like my nails thick at all by any means. And I will tell my What is it? I'll tell my clinician or technician, my clinician, I'll tell my technician or tech that my nails are too thick to kind of thin them out a little bit. But then you don't, you want to be careful because you don't want to go too thin because if you go too thin, then they will, they won't last. They will break on you. They'll, when you're washing dishes or whenever you get water on them, they will 
I'm going to just start on this side of the page because going back and forth is a lot. They'll start to split and all that good jazz. So you want to be careful, you know, whenever you're getting your nails done because they will, if they're too thin, they won't last the entire, like, three weeks. I go three weeks. I used to go, y'all, no lie, I used to go every two weeks to get my um, 15th, 22nd, and 29th. I used to go every three weeks to get my nails and toes done, my manicure and my pedicure. So, y'all, and it was $50. This was back in the day. I think it was 50 So, I was paying $100 every two weeks. Plus the tip, y'all know I was spending some money. However, let's start over here, the 11th, 18th, and 25th. Let's go ahead and do 25th since it already popped up off of the page or out of its spot. So y'all also too though, like I can't do that now just because I have a dollar in college. I have a dollar that's in cheer. I have a son that's in private school and just getting older, we have accumulated more bills. So there is no way I could go to the nail shop every two weeks. And plus the fact, I have come to the point where I don't want to sit in the nail shop and just wait for my nails to get done. I've gotten to the, to the point where sometimes I don't even want to go, but my nails look so rough that I need to go and get them done. But I don't know if that's a part of getting older where I just don't want to just be going and just sitting to have my nails done. I dread the fact when I have to think about it, I'm like, oh man, I got to go get my nails done. I got to go sit in that shop and have her do my nails. That's me. Let me know if any of y'all are like that or if it, if it does bother you or if it doesn't bother you, let me know in the comments. Because I feel like when I was younger, that stuff didn't bother me to go and get my nails done. You see, I was going every two weeks to get a pedicure and a manicure. I do think some of it, too, though, was, y'all, I was getting away from my kids. And that was my me time. <laughs> but now, where is the 31st? Y'all, I'm tripping. There's only 30 days in September. So, anyway, we have down our dates and then what's good about this is she included some blank ones so I can cover up these dates here so let's go ahead and do that just because I don't need these dates I don't need to see those so we're just going to cover them up and act like they don't even exist can y'all still see through the sticker though? I think you can. I can, because I'm right up on it. But can y'all see it? Is it coming through on camera? You bet. You probably can see it, but it's okay. All right, y'all. So we've got our header down, and then we got our planner dated. Now, let's go through and put down any birthdays. I don't think we have any in September, but I'll go back and check. I don't think we do. So any birthdays, any special events, any uh, thing, any things for my kids, any doctor's appointments or things like that, dentist appointments. Let's go ahead and we're going to notate that. And what's new that's coming up is my son is now in his country. I'm trying to grab y'all his um, schedule here. Let me flip. Oh, here it is. So my son is now in cross country because y'all, private school is so different. It's so different. Let me get a pen. Which one do I want? Do I want this one? Okay, we'll use this tool. Uh, needle tip is a fine point and it writes in the point five. If y'all are wondering. So he's in private school. And so I think I want to use this one here. Are these the same? He's in private school. And so there you have to, every season, there's a sport. 
and you cannot play a sport so you have to do something and he's in we elected to put him in cross country so um essentially he'll do cross country until november and then when basketball season starts in november he'll do basketball but then you also have to do something in the spring and then yeah the spring um semester spring session but y'all he's gonna be busy and we're keeping him busy by doing this um cross country but it's good for him though all right so let's go ahead we're gonna put in his dates and how many does he have one two three four five in September so I guess I'll do let's see here 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 twenty second here and then the 29th here okay so I think I'm gonna use green for him so let's do green I don't know the times but I'm gonna put this in for so that I'll know so let me jog my memory. Um, I'm going to put cross country race. It would have been really good if I had some. Uh, what do you call it? Scripts? Are they called like personalized scripts? I don't know what they're called. So I'm going to put this here on the second. So there, the second, the tenth. So we'll put this here. I think that's like slanted. There, second, the tenth, the seventeenth. I think the other one was the twenty second, and then the twenty ninth. Twenty second. And then that's crooked. And then the 29th. I don't know, y'all. What was I saying? I can't remember. Let's fix this. I don't um bend in my pages. Lord have mercy. Okay. So we have those down for his races. And then um, let's see, on the first, we are I was supposed to have choreography fees do but since that cyber attack the systems were um not usable so she said that they were pushing it back or whenever the system comes back up it's now come back up i think it was as of friday the system the systems are now back up and running but she still hasn't the cheer coach still hasn't gotten us to where the link to where we need to go and pay so i'm not going to put that there because that has changed um there is a let's see i got that there i was going to say a volleyball game on the sixth which is tomorrow y'all my son raced on friday i was I, and i'll show y'all y'all be able to see it i, I did vlog on Friday my off day but I haven't edited the video yet but it'll be up this week maybe on Wednesday the vlog will go up but y'all you'll see he did a good well for it being his first race he did a good job so on let's see on Tuesday so tomorrow Ryan has to cheer at a volleyball game I'm gonna do her in Let's see how many she have. One. And do I need one, two, three, four, five? 
Okay, I have more. We'll do her in this like this um, muted red color here for her cheer stuff. So volleyball. So this is at five thirty. So there's a volleyball game. Okay, and then we have a football game at seven o'clock. I should have put um, put it up higher. And then on the thirteenth, we have another volleyball game that she has to cheer at. I don't go to these volleyball games. I may go to one or something because this is volleyball, basketball, football. Because y'all, that popcorn. At the gym, it is so good. Let's see, on the 27th, Another volleyball, so 5.30. Okay. The popcorn is so good. So this is for the 6th, so for tomorrow. And she is off work. I hear her now. And do y'all hear Ryder? And this is for Friday. So Friday is camo day and so in the group me the moms group me well i guess they they dress up y'all these glasses are hurting the back of my ears i gotta pull them off every friday they have to for spirit they dress up different things so last friday was neon and so this Friday is camo. And so in the group mom chat, let's see, what is this one for? The 16th. In the group mom chat, it was um my mom was saying or suggested that we wear um, camo shirts. I don't have one. And I'm gonna cover up this Rosh Hashanah. Just because, you know, I don't celebrate it and I want this. I don't think you'll be able to see it through the sticker. But anyway, we're going to put this here. Okay, so there. Okay, so we have Ryan's volleyball games and then the football games. And then here is homecoming. So I need to put that down. Well, how did I miss Y'all, how did I miss the homecoming? So, homecoming. I think that's at 7 o'clock, too. Okay. I have to write that big. And I should have put... Wait, this says autumn begins on the 23rd. I thought it began on the 22nd. Is that a misprint? Y'all let me know. I thought it, yeah, that's wrong. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Okay, so homecoming. And this is versus. Okay. All right, so then we have all of her cheer things in. Well, today is Labor Day, and she had UIL. Um, choreography and that was from 8 a.m. I'm gonna put this here 8 a to 3 a mm -mm. 3 p oh geez 8 a to 3 p so U I L choreo So what they did here today 
they will also perform during homecoming. And y'all, she decided she's gonna run for homecoming queen, for the homecoming court and for homecoming queen. So we will see how that goes. I will let y'all know my ear is itching. All right, and then, so yeah, I'll let y'all know um, more about the homecoming festivities if she makes the court and all that good jazz. So on the 19th, Ryan and my son both have dentist appointments. So let's use, um, let's use this pink. I don't have a lot, y'all. So at 120, And I'm going to put it in 140, even though they're there, they're going to be there together. So Ryan, dentist, grow, dentist. And I'm going to have to, this is going to be the last appointment because after September, this provider or dentist will no longer be in network and I'm not about to be spending um, a lot of money more than I have to because I chose an out of network provider so y'all let's see here is that it we have no birthdays this month this was at this meet was at he had to be there at 6 30. So I think it does tell the times. Let me just put the times on here. On the 10th, Saturday, what time? I don't know it's early, I think. And they check in at 6 o'clock. What does this mean? Oh no, I'm checking in at seven o'clock. So seven o'clock. Seven. And then on the seventeenth. Six fifteen. Y'all, these races are early too. 6.15 in the 22nd, 6.30. And then on the 29th, 7. And y'all, yes, these are during the week. They do leave school to run these uh, races. But typically, they're back by um, lunch because they're so early. They're usually back by lunch. Well, that's how it went Friday when we went, when I went to his um, meet. So y'all, okay, let's see. No birthdays. We've got Ryland's cross country meets in. And then we have football in. And we've got volleyball. We've got homecoming and their dentist also on the 23rd. And also, I think it's the 8th. I need to order her yearbook. And then something is going on on the 23rd. Oh, her senior ad. I need to order that senior ad. So let's see. How do I want to notate those i can do let's see i need to run a reminder to order senior ad i mean order yearbook and then order senior ad 
So yearbook. I have it in my phone for the eighth, but so that way I wouldn't miss the ninth, but the ninth is the last day to get it at the discounted $65 uh, rate. And then I need to order this senior ad. Well, if I don't get this done, we have until November. I just wanted to get it done early. Oh, on the 18th, we're picking up her mom. I need to schedule that time too. Okay. So let's see here. Um, pick up mom. And she's doing a photo shoot on that day also. So it's going to be after her practice, that's for sure. She has practice on Sundays now from, I think it's 1 to 3.30. So after her practice, once she comes home and freshens up, then she'll be able to pick up her mom. And then on the 7th, well, from the 1st through the 7th, it's Fern Creek Stickers is having her pre order for her advent so i do want to notate that um do i want to do that though i'll just put it right here um order advent uh how do i want to do this fcs advent fcs advent I hope I remember that's Fern Creek stickers. So put that there. Okay. And y'all, I'm trying to think. There's don't have any. I, I feel like somebody's birthday is on the 13th, but I'll have to check and see. Um, I know this looks kind of plain. I don't have any. Now I do have some doodles, but I want to try to keep that for my main spread my weekly spread so I don't know if I will use that in this kit or on this plan with me mm, I don't think I will I'm trying to see if there's anything on here I could put a dollar sign for like the yearbook I'm not gonna put that there I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use these for that. I'll just keep it for my um, my weekly spread. But y'all, I think I, I think that's it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I have a follow up appointment too on tomorrow, so let's notate that as well. And I want to use um, pink for me. So my appointment is at nine o'clock. Um, oral follow-up okay so we'll put this here if y'all have been following me for any length of time well it's, it, it's, it's since March you know that I had oral surgery um, in March and it was extensive um, just put it like that it was extensive so, and it is what? So, March is now September. So, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So, it's been six months. And, yeah, um, I'm still doing, like, you know, having follow-up follow appointments. But, y'all, I had um, dental implants put in and all that good jazz. I had to have, um, what is it called? Um bone grafting and all that stuff so i was off from work like three weeks three or four weeks um on fmla so that way um i could heal properly but yeah y'all i'm so glad that's over with um i am pleasantly i'm very 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 happy with the turnout and um so yeah so i still have follow-up appointments just to make sure that everything is healing properly but i've been told that this process can take anywhere from three months to like a year depending on the severity of 
your case. So anyway, y'all, this is it. I think I have everything in. If there's anything that I left off, I will add it later. But for right now, this is what we have. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Plan with Rochelle. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.